everyone, this is Sally Mae with Artist Pre, and today we are going to do a quick, fun project to brighten up your craft room or your kitchen. So I'm going to be using the Artist Pre Sublimation Pot Holder. We're going to do a quick design on that that anybody can do. And I have some new products to share with you. So Artist Pre had sublimation paints before. They had red, yellow, blue, black, and the white medium. Now there are new colors. So we have our purple, green, orange, pink, and brown colors. We're going to be playing with those today in our project. So let's take a look at all the supplies that we're going to need. So in addition to the Artist Pre pot holder and the paints, we're going to be using basic ordinary copy paper, a pencil, scissors, the Artist Pre heat tape, some paint brushes for our paints, and then I'm going to also be using the Artist Pre sublimation markers and the very important Artist Pre protective paper that is going to protect your heat press surface. I also have the heat pad, protective pad from Artist Pre that is going to protect our workspace when we bring this off the press or when you are working with very, very hot sublimation blanks. You're going to need a heat source that can heat up to 400 degrees. We will be using this at 400 degrees for 60 seconds when we go to press it. And then I'm just going to be using a uh, paint palette. You could also use a high-tech paper plate if you would like to as well. Just depends on what you have in your stash. So let's go ahead and we'll get set up to get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this blank out of the packaging. And let's remove the tags and the silicone packet. You don't want to press the silicone packet. It's not a good idea. We're just going to take those tags off of it. Then I have just a couple sheets of copy paper here, especially since we are working with the paints, which is a little more of a wet medium material, then we wanna protect our workspace as well. So a couple sheets of copy paper is going to protect your work surface. And then I have a silicone mat underneath that just to protect my tabletop. So we're gonna take this uh, Artist Pre heat pad and I am going to place it on top of the top um, copy paper. And I'm just going to use pencil to kind of trace around it to give me an idea of the size of my blank. Now pencil does not transfer to your blank. So you do, pencil is easy to use and you wanna use this when you are doing any sort of sketching or um, drawing around your template. It's not going to transfer to that blank. You do not wanna use a pen or Sharpie um, or a marker that could transfer to your blank. So we, this gives us a little bit of an idea. We can kind of close that off. Now I'm just going to do a very, very quick sketch design. It's just going to be a doodle type uh, design and anybody can do this and it doesn't have to be perfect. I am going to be using the Artist Pre Sublimation markers and you wanna take your markers out and have them upright for about 20 minutes before you go to use them to get that ink flowing. Now, if you'd like, you could go ahead and you could do this sketch with your pencil first, if that gives you a little bit more confidence. And I'll just show you real quick what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to sketch, doodle sketch a flower and there is no order to this. There's no uh, specific way of doing this. So you're going to have kind of a circle in the center. We're just going to make a bright spring flower. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to draw out some petals. And since it's pencil, I can always change this a little bit bigger and it's a doodle. So all of these lines are going to be sort of doodled together and it can get kind of, if you're using a pencil and you messed up, it could get kind of interesting there. I'm gonna take this one and kind of just bring it in here. Again, just a fun little project to brighten up your, um, I'm gonna use this in my craft room actually with my heat press and be able to um, move hot surfaces in the craft room. So now I'm just going to take the Artist Pre Black marker and I'm going to kind of trace around my design and get it that um, finished look. That may look like quite a little 
mess there but again your pencil is not going to transfer and i'm going to let that dry for a few seconds and we can kind of erase those lines i just want to make sure that the black is going to dry before i smear that but if the lines bother you you could do that however the pencil is not going to transfer to our sublimation blank and then i'm going to get the paint ready and we're just going to kind of give this a washed look with this paint. And I just decided to erase all those lines and make it look a little bit cleaner as I was doing this. And then you wanna make sure to take the sublimation paints and shake them up really, really, really good before you put them into your paint palette. And I got a little bit too much, but I'm gonna share a trick here in just a minute with you for that. And then I just started painting and I was using some additional water to give it a little bit of a watercolor look. You can see that there are some gradients here, different shades of pink as I'm doing this and layering it. You can always add more paint, but you can't take it away. So you wanna start with a light hand. And then I just kind of did a messy watercolor around on that flower. And I just continued to add some paint and different paint strokes and different things there. Added some more pink into the center of it to see how it was going to look. And sometimes things take a life of their own and we're gonna see how this turns out. It wasn't quite what I had thought about when I first started it. I was going to just do the flower and then as I got into it, I just thought I wanted the background to be completely covered with pink. So it's a doodle flower. You can really do whatever you want. And as you saw, it may not always turn out the exact way you think you are when you started. So it's just fun to play with all kinds of color options that you can do and mix and match to, together. So we are going to clean this up, heat the heat press up to 400 degrees. I am going to let this paper dry completely before I go to press it. And then we'll come back and we will heat press this and take a look at our new spring pot holder. Now, instead of just washing your extra paint down the sink, you can take that and you can use an, it's just copy paper. So you might as well put that extra ink and paint onto a surface and you can save this for a future project or you might already have an idea for that project that you're ready to do. So I just did that with all the extra paint. Okay, so our drawing is dry, the paint is dry. You wanna make sure that it is good to go before that. If you want, you can come in here with your Artist Pre marker after it's dry, add in some little dimensions in here. Let's just give it some flare. Try not to be so perfect. And just make some centers for these flowers. Okay, give it that final touch. And then what we're going to do is you can, you can trim this down if you'd like to. We're going to take our sublimation pot holder. And we're going to place it face down. Now this is a perfect, pretty much a perfect square here. So you could decide after the fact how you want this drawing to go. I'm going to place it here. And then since this is also a pencil, if for some reason that you didn't get enough ink in one spot, you could even move it over a little bit because you're not limited by that. Just depends on if your design is perfectly centered or mine is not a perfect design whatsoever. But we're going to take some heat tape and we're just going to secure this to our sublimation print. And you just wanna make sure that there's not any space between the print and the sublimation blank. So there's no movement when we go to move this and do our pressing. Now I'm going to take some of the Artist Pre protective paper and I'm going to pull out two sheets that cover my entire surface of my heat press and cover the entire surface of the blank as well. That's the loudest part of the process. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a sublimation sandwich. I'm going to first lay down a layer of protective paper and you can do this right on your heat surface. I'm going to do it here since it's in the camera view. 
you're going to take your sublimation blank you're going to flip it over so the print is on the top you want this on to hit the top of your heat press surface and then we're going to take a layer of protective paper and place it on top so we have a sublimation sandwich here you want to make sure to protect around the edges of your area that you have around your blank you do not want to get sublimation ink onto the surface of your pressing surface now the artist pre sublimation products are science so what is going to happen is the ink is going to heat up, it turns into a gas, and it transfers to that sublimation blank. So you do not want it to, the gas to escape and get on any part of your press surface, or it could transfer to other blanks that the next time you go to press. So you wanna make sure to use this siliconized protective paper and use it very liberally so that you cover your entire surface. I'm going to set this over here onto my pressing surface and then we are going to press this for 60 seconds. Now we're going to let that set for just a second while that ink settles after we pull the press up. I always like to let it sit for just a minute or not a minute but a few seconds and then carefully take this and we're going to move this off onto the Artist Pre Protective Pad that is going to protect my surface from this product that has been heating for 60 seconds at 400 degrees. Now, I can already see, and we'll see if you can see it on the camera here, but I can already see that my marker has transferred. So you, this is what I mean by you want to protect that surface. Anything that transferred could then transfer to your heat surface if you did not use this protective paper. You're going to go ahead and discard this. You do not want to reuse it or it could transfer to the next blank that you were using. I'm going to do the same here. You can see here that it had ink that came out all around the edges of that. We're going to discard this as well. And then let's take a look. So one thing that you want to keep in mind when you're using the Artist Pre Sublimation products is that the color that you see when you are coloring, when you're painting, when you're using the inks is not the final color. The final color comes when we do this reveal. So you can see I've got this kind of watercolor effect, which is what I was going for. And we have this spring. Oh, it turned out even better than I thought it would. <laughs> I love when projects do that. So we have this fun spring pot holder. Now, the other thing I just noticed is that you do have this white surface that I did not account for up here. So if this matters to you and you want it to be the same color, make sure you include that area onto your um, printed sheet. In that case, next time I would do it this way and then paint on the top here so that it's covered. I'm not going to be picky about that. That's going to hang in my craft room. But let's take a look at this closer look. We have this watercolor effect from the brush strokes. We have some of the watercolor effect inside of the flower there, and we have some dimension added with that marker. Again, you do not have to be an artist to have fun and play with these. Check out the links in the description below for all of the supplies used, including these new paint colors by Artist Pre. Make sure to follow Artist Pre on all the social media channels and check out their blog for additional inspiration and ideas. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.